There we go. Alright, good morning. Welcome to Not A Gamer Gaming. This is Genosis with Day 17 of The Archer. Alright, I didn't have a lot of time last night because I came home rather late trying to, you know, get more stuff done. And this is the biggest thing I was able to change. I broke these blocks down that were on each of these little corners and I put up three poles instead from the ground up. And I put all of the electric wire traps there, uh, effectively lowering them by one block. And I'll show you the result. So I started wiring from the generator to here and then zip that across here. Oh, hold on. So that way the wire comes across the, the entryway. So they can they'll walk into here, they'll get zapped. So they'll slow down right in front of me and I'll be able to hit them with an arrow. So they're gonna come across here and they're gonna walk down this entire wire getting shocked, keep getting shocked, keep getting shocked. Now, as you know, since I've uh, lowered that wire, uh, crawling zombies are gonna get the shock too, as well as dogs. So I will be able to take care of them quite nicely. All right, so that's gonna help quite a bit. I still have to bash out some of these corners, put some poles, increase my visibility, and still do some upgrading because there's still a few uh, wood sections here and there. But you know, that's still a considerable change and uh, I can actually go ahead and probably close up all of these protective hatches. Uh, do I have another one? Uh, hatch, yeah, I'm gonna put up another hatch. Yeah, because I'm gonna close up all these hatches so there's no incidental zombie damage happening in there. Just upgrade that while I'm at it. And hatch, 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 there we go. So I should be able to rotate it like so, bam. Okay, that should cover all of them, I believe. Do I have one over there? Yeah, I do. Cool. All right, all done. So that is uh, done and done. So now we're going to get out of here. I still got some... Uh, I'm extremely hungry from all the digging I was doing. So what I'm going to do is uh, pop this vitamin and uh, shove five sandwiches down my throat. So bear with me. All right, that should mostly cover my hunger. I'm just going to take one sip of water. Uh, that's actually going to make my uh, digestion a little more effective, which is nice. Uh, and I'll put these tools away that I don't need. Get everything back where they should be. All right, so today's agenda is we got a couple of quests to turn in, and I think it's time we do something exciting. Like we've done a couple of days of questing, you know, all is well and good, but we need to do something interesting. So with that in mind, I believe I'm gonna do maybe one of the buildings, the large buildings. Maybe uh, I think I've done Dishong before, but I don't believe I've done Higashi. And uh, Higashi Pharmaceuticals would be nice because. Uh, they will have some chem stations, and I possibly could loot a schematic from one of those, and that would that would please me. That would please me greatly. Um, I may also need to make get some more gas because I'm still running a half tank, and I don't have to worry about running out like I did the last couple of days. Bam! <laughs> oh, that was that was just a treat. Okay, so let me uh, get my arrow back and then turn in these two quests. All right, all done at Hugh. I got myself a new quest. Right. Do the math. Yeah, yeah. And I did my I did a couple impulse purchases. I bought a couple blade traps, some concrete mix, and some gunpowder. Uh, did I already loot that? Okay. Do, I wonder if he has any uh, lock picks. Since I'm kind of kind of short. Yeah, he does. Uh, I'm gonna grab one because I do have one of these jailbreaker candies. And uh, maybe there's more here. Oh, there's two more. Fantastic. I'm going to stock up on those. Because now that I have my motorcycle, and I, I actually have a fair bit of cash kicking around, I'm uh, actually going to go ahead and get all of those I can and try to, uh, you know, get through safes a lot quicker. Oh, hold on. Saw a dude. Awesome. Yeah, so uh, more zombies are still not that bad. So uh, I kind of wish I got more experience and loot out of them, but whatever. All right, so, um, hmm, hmm. yeah, I'm going to head over to uh, Hugh, uh, grab a quest, and then find a place to, uh, you know, play throughout the day. Learn. All right, another quest to turn in. Uh, I got five bandages from the last uh, quest, and what the hell, I may as well grab some more. Not Oh, this is a, a bonus, a reward. Okay, cool. Uh, hunter mod, probably get me the most uh, money if I do a mod. Uh, let's check to see our schematics, and uh, did I already check this one? I think I might have. I'll double check uh, chem station. No. Um, cement mixer. Oh, lots of cement. Crucible. No. Okay, that's fine. If we ain't got what you're looking yeah, that's for, fine. We can and get. there's no more uh, jailbreakers here, so that's fine. So I'm going to stash away. Hold on. Stash away anything I don't need to take in with me. So I'll, I'll take those. All that stuff. Um, jars, all those bandages. 
Uh, do I have the thing where my fall damage is reduced by coins? I think that's under Night Stalker? Uh, no. Where was that? Um, Urban Combat? Mm, no. Okay, which one was that? Uh, Great Heist. Oh, Great Heist. Yeah, I don't have that one. Okay, so that's fine. I'm going to actually keep my money on the... Uh, actually, it might be vending machines in the skyscraper. I want some more of this stuff. So, changing my mind yet again. I'm going to take that with me. Okay, enough babbling. I've Oh, I forgot to grab a quest. Okay, hold on, hold on. One second. I'm, I'm going to grab a quest, and then I'm going to find uh, the tower I'm going to loot. All right, so it does look like we do have a Higashi uh, tower right here in the town that I live in. Um, right... Oh, yeah, there's my uh, home right over here. Oh, yeah, it's just down the road. Right on. Yeah, Hagashi Pharmaceutical. So hopefully this will be the place to go if I'm going to find any uh, any chem stations that'll have a schematics that I'm missing out on. Neato. Down you go. All right, so let's... Uh, this probably take most of the day, and hopefully we can keep this nice and interesting for you folks watching at home. Okay, almost done the first floor here. Uh, there's a little uh, security office that has a munitions crate, so I put my uh, lucky looter goggles on and see if there's anything worth grabbing out of here. Uh, more ammunition to sell. I'm also checking the um, desks, uh, especially, because I wouldn't mind a cigar, because uh, I think I just have the mask, yeah. So the cigar would add one strength and some bartering power, which would be nice, but uh, mostly I want to uh, be able to get a little bit more strength that would have to put points into it. Because, you know, I don't want to waste too much points on strength because I'm not really doing any combat-related strength perks. Mostly just for digging and uh, sexy Tyrannosaurus, which will help with all the uh, digging I've been doing lately and resource gathering for Horde Base. Because, you know, there's going to be a time coming that I'm going to need some making some cement, now that I realize it. And I'm going to need a lot of stone and sand. So I'm going to need uh, gonna a lot of resources. And I don't want to be out of breath for hours on end, getting, like, a fraction of what I should be. That's something I have to get used to. I uh, actually haven't hit these guys twice. I mean, these are not the tough zombies, but now that they're warrior settings, I gotta get used to that. Ooh, a working vending machine. Uh, good thing I brought my cash. Actually, a smoothie might be nice for later. Uh, explosion damage. That doesn't really affect me too much. Salvage Harvest. I mean, I might grab those. I might. Yeah, what the heck. Why not? Why not? Alright, so continuing on. Uh, we're almost on the second floor. Alright, wasn't too sneaky. And there's a whole party of businessmen up here. Oh, that's uh, that dude. Ouch. It's crouching. That dude's feral. You stay back, sir. Okay. No stamina. No stamina. <laughs> okay, maybe Sexy T-Rex uh, will be something very useful. Yeah, so I think I'm actually been my first uh, first feral, or maybe not first feral, but certainly since I put it back up to war settings, you stay down. Is that uh, that's all up here? Okay, let me grab my arrow, drop some polymer for you to steal arrows later, and continuing on. I'll uh, I'll do some looting later. For right now, I just want to get through the zombies and do the clear. Oh, this is a dangerous section, no matter what uh, what building you're in. Uh, I'm just going to loot the, um, what do you call it, the desks here, because I'm kind of really anxious about getting one of those uh, cigars now that I want to put some points into digging. Uh, and also filing cabinets, because, you know what, books. I'm also addicted to books. Must get all the books possible. So I'm going to maybe just kind of spot loot here and there. I'll do kind of more of a full, oh, you moved. I'll do more of a full clear, probably overnight. Uh, because there, this place is huge, and there's no way I'm going to get all that stuff out in one load. So I'm just going to uh, kind of sporadically loop. That's a lot of dudes. Sporadically loop uh, and get all the uh, stuff I'm looking forward to. Just are staying asleep. to the uh, human resource section is done. Now we're going to do a little bit of parkour. Ugh, I hate using that word. So trendy. Uh, oh, but that's kind of what it is. Now, hey, this 
normally I put some frames down, but since my wife isn't here, I can probably just uh, spitball it and do it that way. Perfect. All right, chemical design. Now, I believe this section is where we'll start seeing some uh, chemistry stations and um, all of those medical piles that might have some schematics that we could be using. So I believe that's starting into this next section. Hello, sir. Oh. Yeah, you know, I think it'd be a little more stressed about this whole... You're not dead yet? Okay, come on. <laughs> I think I'd be a little more stressed about this whole warrior um, business along with permadeath if I wasn't doing a sneaky build. Because I can kind of float through here and usually take out most things without too much resistance. Um, now, the tricky thing is, is that, you know, if you do get surprised, then you're kind of in a world of trouble if you're not quick. So there, there is there are some uh, difficulties in that. Oh, look at these guys. And you have to be a lot, also more observant. Because if you don't pay attention and you stand up thinking everything's safe, then you could have some zombies drop down on you. Just like those would if I didn't think about it. All right, so we got a lot of stuff to look at here. So these medical piles are things I'm going to be focusing on. I've been picking up some things from uh, um, desks and whatnot. But these may have things I'm looking for. So I don't think loot bonus affects it. I think I think it's more of quality. But we'll, uh, we'll grab these and see if there's anything good. All right, just grabbed all the medical piles in the section. Now, I did get a beaker. I think I already have one at home, but, you know, better safe than sorry. I'm growing chrysanthemum at home, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. And I do have a new magazine. Reduced chance to be lit on fire. Well, that's nice. I'm just going to drink that water because there's a, well, whatever. Now, oil shale, I can probably, oh, I'm gonna mine, I can mine up later if I need to. I just don't want to carry too much stuff that I don't need. Gunpowder I'm saving up, though, because uh, there's some really nice stuff we can make, uh, such as exploding arrow crossbow bolts. Now, crossbows is something I'm looking at, so if I get enough parts for it, I will be crafting a uh, compound crossbow. Also, timed charges is another thing. Uh, I can actually use these to open up safes, and that actually might be more fun than... Uh, Doing the whole carrying around um, lock picks. Did I wake up something? Carrying around lock picks as well as um, those those candies, jailbreakers. So just a bunch of time chargers. Just might, might be a fun way to do it. Well, that was brutal. <laughs> oh, look, a bookcase. Neato. Uh, I will loot those. I mean. Those are only worth a hundred bucks, and sometimes usually end up reading them, like the uh, the, the perk books, uh, because uh, you know 100, sometimes a hundred bucks is not worth uh, a slot in your inventory when you're looting things that are a lot better. If I'm not, oh yeah, I do see a chem station in there, because that is very much what I'm in here for. So if I can get one schematic, then it'll completely validate the uh, trip up here. Okay, so untouched. So, oh yeah. <laughs> First try. So, uh, chem station. We are able to do one that excites me. So I'll need 100 forged iron and all of these things, which I can whip up at home. So already today is a success. I I'm very happy about that. All right, let's continue on. Let's may as well try to finish the place since we're here. What was that? Oh, hello. I guess there's more hiding up there. Huh. Yeah, I probably should have double checked. Oh well, I only uh, only missed the one, so it wasn't a big deal. All right, so this area was a little cleared out, shot him out, and let's grab all of these medical piles because you know could find some more schematics, but definitely. Oh, hello. Ooh, chili dog recipe. Uh, what does it take to make those? Uh, I think it's just cans of chili and meat and cornbread. Nice. Uh, I guess I should pay attention to sinks as well because I am desperately in need of some schematics. All right, just found a really juicy room off to the side here. Uh, just in that next room, I came through this hallway and into here. Uh, there's also a lot of good supplies, so that is definitely going to be a night digging es escapade I'm going to have. Uh, maybe after I put a couple points into it, because that will take some time. All right, um, I'm tempted to keep the goldenrod because I need that at home, but definitely not the chrysanthemum. I think I'm full up on all my dyes, uh, even on my glasses and my loot goggles. So I think I can start scrapping those now, because I'm, I'm keeping some paint so I can paint at home. All right, uh, let's uh, get all of these looted, because we're going to be definitely full up on medical supplies. 
Oh, definitely sinks are going to be a priority loot for me because I'm finding some food recipes and I am sorely lacking. Now, just when you enter that first section here, there was a, a hidden... I can't even see it through here. But there was a hidden crate inside some bulletproof glass. And they do kind of provide a way for you to get there from here. Just got to hop up or all these little areas here. And you can tell there's a um, boarded up section here with a hatch. So there's, a, there's the area came through that perception when I snuck through originally. And down there was a pop and pills crate. I think sometimes it's a hidden stash. Oh. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, I can actually reach that now. So that's cool. And bam, I can just get the loot from there. Extra gunpowder, which I actually have a modest supply of now. I can make a four or five of those, uh, what do you call them? Um, uh, time charges. Which is cool, because uh, that's kind of a new thing I want to do. But I will focus on explosive bolts, because that will be even more fun. Is that another... Ooh, another working vending machine. Uh, yeah? Wait. Uh, I can't... I guess I don't have any of that on me. I got some hackers, though. I'll buy those, so that will stack. Melee damage I don't really need. Okay, I'm going to learn that book, because uh, that's, that's taking up more space than I'm comfortable with right now. And I really don't need the money, really, honestly. All right, moving on. Chemical Depot. So we're on a brand new floor. Now this section here can actually get a quite a bit hairy. There's a whole bunch of, uh, well, I was going to say bobs, but now there's uh, Larry's here too. Because uh, there is all kinds of zombies hiding throughout here. Now, oh yeah, got to watch the uh, hitboxes on those. You're not dead yet because you're a warrior zombie. Oh, I'm actually getting hungry. So I'll have to take care of that. Uh, anyways, yeah, so careful with this section, because as you get through, there are so many of them hidden. Try to get all my arrows back if I can. There you go. So many of them hidden. Oh, good sneak strike attack. Oh, you're a feral. Now you're you're deader. Okay. Well, again, just be careful here, because uh, you can. I've got overwhelmed here at least once or twice uh, when I had a party with me. All right, continuing on. Ooh, level 35. Oh, another another feral. Definitely got to be cautious of those. Whew, okay. Now, there's actually a ridic ridiculous amount of loot here. A lot of trash loot. Uh, I'm full to the brim, so I'm just kind of triaging as I go whenever there's something more valuable to grab. So, definitely got to be careful coming through here. Now, once I'm done, I'm probably going to have to go downstairs, empty out my bike, and uh, go grab all the good loot. Because I'm not going to have room for anything. But I'm getting so much medical supplies. Like, oh, this grain alcohol used for, uh, you know, Grandpa's Moonshine, Recog, and Fort, Fort Bites, and First Aid Kits. And, ooh, pumpkin cheesecake. Even better. So, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, do a little bit of clearing later and uh, empty up my bike and then come back up for more. Because there's so, so much stuff here, especially concrete and cobblestone. And that's, that's probably going to take a night or two to clear out. Oh, wow. Did she surprise me? That's uh, yeah, another feral. So what level am I? Uh, 35, I thought, right? Yeah. So I'm going to have to be careful with that. So I do have a couple points. And man, I, I'm still debating considering diving into the strength so I can do the mining and all that stuff later. Uh, I could also go into... Oh, actually, hmm, I couldn't go into New because that takes three points now. Hidden Strike's tempting, but I, I'm still able to kill them one shot if I catch them unaware. So that's not a concern either. So I'm fairly certain I'll go down just a little bit of strength, maybe at most, uh, maybe four points, either four points or six points, because that cigar will make up that fifth or seventh. Uh, so I can either max out the perks or at least get them four out of five, which uh, might be enough. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyways, I'll further consider that before I start spending any points. Wow, those zombies hit hard. Um, I think I have some spare medical bandage here. There we go. Um, yeah, I had a, f <laughs> had a couple of zombies fall on me. One of them happened to be feral, so it caught me off guard. But yeah, I gotta definitely keep my health topped up, because it, it goes down a little faster than I'm, I'm used to. My arrow back. Ooh, uh, bookcase. Nice. A little hidden section under here in the bathroom. Ugh, paper. But there is a hidden stash right here, which might be nice. We'll see what we got in here. A uh, schematic for barbed wire, whatever, and a plate for 160 bucks. I mean, I think everything else here is more valuable, and uh, to be honest, like uh, I'm pretty good for money, um, so 
I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right, continuing on. It's getting a little late, but I, I might try to push through all the way to the end. All right, just started the DNA testing floor. Um, I don't recall how many floors there is. I, I must be getting close. Oh, yeah, I think there might only be another floor after this. So, yeah, maybe we'll uh, take the time, play a little bit into the night, and uh, get this place cleared off, just to say we did it. Oh, this might get a little hairy. Okay, uh, hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to tackle these guys while they're moving, so I'm going to try to snipe the most of them I can. Almost doesn't even feel fair. Nice! Alright, I think I cleared all of them in this area. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for any arrows that I lost because uh, I, I'm, I might be getting a little low. I think I have like 80 or so. And that could disappear on me quite quickly. Oh, of course I'm full up on grain alcohol. Uh, anything I should drop? Okay, eight leather, not a big deal. Uh, I can get that just about anywhere. Alright, it's going to grab some medical supplies. Oh, bit of lag there. Must be entering a new sleeper volume. And I uh, better get down on my knees and uh, be careful, because could get messy here on out. Alright, up another floor. I think this might be... Trials. Is this the last one? I think so? Let me kind of walk over here. Uh, that's unlocked. Ooh, nice clock. Oh, they definitely added that uh, from A19. So I'm glad they, they took a pass in this place. Okay, nothing in here. I, I do remember this section out here. There's going to be some birds. I think there's a little hidden section back there where it's got some extra loot. I'll just take a quick peek. Ooh, it's going to get nighttime. Which means that we don't have the luxury of any slow zombies at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the last floor. Oh, this is a hairy jump. Okay, oh, bird. <laughs> oh, he started moving. Should be able to get these from a distance. Now, I don't want to leave the feathers and rotting flesh there. Um, I kind of want to keep that splint because reasons. Chrysanthemum I can do without. I might want to stack the cash if I can. Hmm, decisions. Oh, this is really grim. <laughs> um, again, I'm getting lots of bones and rotting flesh and all that, which is great for my farm. Um, as well as you know, a bunch of glue, which is nice. But I, I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the nitrate hit the ground because I can mine that up. Not a big deal. Yeah, so this is definitely the last floor. I remember this place now. This will loop around, and then there's still the roof to take care of. But I, I consider this the last floor. The roof is just kind of like the uh, final fight, plus the uh, oh, final fight plus the uh, end loot, which is fairly considerable. Oh, that's a lot of bodies. Oh boy. Oh, you... No, 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 no. You stay there. You stay down. You stay asleep. Uh, yeah, there's a... I remember a lot of zombies near the end here. Uh, so I'm going to get all my arrows back, because I have a feeling I will need most of them. Let's check a couple, uh... Is that better? No, it's the same. Yeah, wait, hold on, is it? No, it isn't. That's four. That's four. Never mind. You yeah, know, this end section is pretty nuts with a lot of zombies. So we're going to try to stay sneaking as best we can. Now, this isn't the final fight. There's a big one on the rooftop. And uh, I'm expecting to see some cops. Uh-oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, had to break my cover. But Machete takes care of that without too much trouble. Yeah, because uh, as good as I am with a bow, I am just as good with a machete with deep cuts all the way here. So, oh, I'm almost up, almost up to Samurai, I think. Is that what it said? Uh, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, deep cuts. Ooh, samurai. That sounds, that sounds cool. I wish I could make a sword. I want a sword. Alright, yeah, we're almost done. There is one fight left, and this is the one I'm worried about. Uh, I've seen upper game stages have ferals and cops and all kinds of business. Um, okay, that, is that a military zombie? That, Yeah, I think that is. So we're definitely getting worse zombies here. But I just don't see anything I can't handle. Uh, I don't know what is feral and what isn't, because I can't really see their eyes. Let's uh, take a look at the experience, though. Actually, I'll, I can probably get a different angle. Is that an arrow? Oh, yeah, right there. 
Can get different, get a, yeah, get a different angle on this guy. And 800 experience. I think that might have been feral. Or maybe it's just that it's nighttime. I don't know. He, he definitely looks feral. Yeah, I'm definitely taking them out one shot uh, as feral. So uh, maybe when they get to be irradiated, I'm going to have to worry about getting more sneak damage so I can actually take them out. I think we might be done. Um, there's a... I'm just going to take a look at what the loot is. And uh, I'm not going to grab too much of it. I just want to... Oh, oh crap, I already looted it. Uh, just a tempered blade mod, not a big deal. Okay, I'll put my loot goggles on. Just uh, so when I crack things open, I'll get the best of it. So yeah, I think that was it. So we finished this place in one night, which is not too bad at all. I'll grab as much as I can. Um, I hate to leave that, but I can actually make those, I believe. First aid bandage, I can. And I got a lot of aloe cream, so I'm not, I'm not hurting for it. Uh, let's see. Now I do have jailbreakers and that is probably one of the best reasons to have have the candy so let's let's pick this lock quickly and first try you know i can really get used to having those candies around here what do we get uh steel armor mini bike chassis schematic a workbench schematic that's nice just in case i need another one um bullets machine gun parts cooling mods whatever and in here uh nothing too earth shattering but stuff i'm definitely going to want to grab I mean, the rest is probably just uh, medical supplies and whatnot. So, all right, that's all the interesting stuff. So we're going to end it here. I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to do much more in the Horde base because, you know, that's over there. And I got a lot to do tonight. I got a lot of looting. So I'll spend whatever time I have doing that. So that's going to be it for me tonight. I want to thank you all for watching. This has been day 17 of The Archer. Uh, we're really, you know, going through these recordings. Um, actually, <sighs> The last two recordings have been done before the last one is aired. So if you've been leaving comments, I'm, I'm sorry, I won't be able to respond to them directly. It's, uh, you know, we're just trying to get as much of this done as possible with the time we have allotted, you know, kids and life and all that stuff. So I apologize for that, but we're doing our best. Anyways, that's it for me. I thank you all for watching. And if you like the video, please like, you know, press that like button and stuff because, you know, like that kind of thing. And subscribe if you haven't already, because why the heck not? We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers, and that's just a lot of, of fun. And don't you want to, you want to be here for that. Anyways, have a good night, and we'll see you next time.